for me, we are all teachers and we are all students all at the same time. And when we have children, we are given our children for a brief period of time to guide them, to be the best, most vastly open aspects of who they are. When they are born, they are in their whole state. And it doesn't shift until we start implementing our own belief systems. Mm -hmm. And so my whole concept of what I do with my children and what I encourage others to do with theirs is to listen and realize that they are eternal beings. They are every bit the spirit that I am, that you are, that we are. And that they come more open and aware of our spiritual surroundings. Because my whole world is spirit first and then the physical. Mm -hmm. And so I teach them that. Um, and they teach me that. And when my child comes and I can tell what maybe one of their life lessons is or what they've chosen to learn in this life and it's not mine and I let them learn that. I don't say that, well, this is right, this is wrong because then it's putting it through my personal filters. Mm -hmm. The things that I came to learn are going to be different than what they came to learn. And it's important for all of us to um, hold strong to that concept because I feel a lot of the time our spirit is so vast and wants to grow. These children want to be big. You know, when I give them all the respect and I look at them like they're my teacher, they feel that and all of a sudden something shifts and it's not I'm here and you're here and I'm the adult and you're the child. It's not that. We're on an even playing field and I learn as much from them as they do from me and that it's, it's this harmony. And all of a sudden you have this back and forth flow that is the flow that should be right with everything. Mm -hmm. And the minute you bring that kind of respect and integrity, things get better. Thank you for watching our show. Tell your friends and visit us at wildfamily.tv.